What is up everybody, it's Peace High. Welcome to another video. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I'm here again on a special request from my subscriber, Nathan. Um, he asked, what are the benefits of fasting? And then uh, what can he do to incorporate uh, not only fasting, but what can he do with his diet to kind of get himself to the next level? Because he feels that he's kind of plateaued in his fitness journey. Um, so the reason that people fast is because when you're not exposing yourself to new nutrients, your body looks within itself to sustain your current energy levels, which means it'll not only use your body fat as its main energy source during that period of time, once you run out of your glycogen reserves, but also you'll start to clean up other random stuff that's in your body, uh, including bacteria and viruses and cancer cells. Like your body literally eats itself. Autophagy is I think Latin or something, some other language for self eating. So you're essentially experiencing uh, uh, the ultimate cleanse. People go on these juice cleanse and stuff and they like drink a bunch of like juice or whatever, that, that's garbage. The ultimate cleanse is to just stop eating altogether. Uh, so this actually goes hand in hand with an extremely powerful strategy called keto. It's short for ketogenesis. Uh, your body, uh, and it's because your body is generating ketone bodies when you're not exposed to higher amounts of carbohydrate. These ketone bodies are derived from your fat, so you're using your fat as your main energy source to power your body. Gluconeogenesis is a process that your body makes sugar for your brain to use from the material that you have in your own body. Gluco neogenesis. You're making brand new glucose. You do not need to eat sugar in order to power your brain. Carbohydrates are not a necessary nutrient. I wouldn't recommend going too long without some carbohydrates, um, but it's an incredibly powerful tool to get yourself metabolically healthy. So Nathan, if you've reached a plateau, I would recommend first to start by reducing the amount of carbohydrate. That includes things like breads, pastas, alcohol, um, sugar, any added sugar. Like, I mean, I would even cut down on, on fruits and vegetables. Uh, primarily meat is a good way to go. Cheese, stuff like that. Eggs, very nice. Speaking of that, I will actually be starting the carnivore diet uh, once again um, on March 1st, and I'll be doing it for three weeks. So we'll see how that goes. I'll probably be doing some update videos um, in the next coming weeks on that. So keep an eye out for that. I'll probably be, uh, giving like weight updates and, um, strength updates. I'll still be working out every day. Like I have been, uh, but yeah, uh, back when I first started, uh, the carnivore diet, it was actually because I was experiencing some alopecia on my beard. I didn't have uh, hair growth on my beard um, in this area, and it was actually uh, really concerning because um, I was trying a bunch of different things. Uh, I ended up trying like a bunch of different oils and rubbing them on my beard and hoping to get them to get it to grow back. And I stumbled across uh, some uh, some podcast about the uh, the carnivore diet, and I tried that, and within a month. I saw the hair starting to grow back as well as uh, I was able to surpass my 275 pound uh, max bench press. Uh, I, I benched 300 for the first time in my life when I was stuck at 275 flat bench press for literally years. Uh, so that was really awesome. But that was back when I was 28 and I'm 33 now, so time flies. But uh, once again, I'm gonna be doing it uh, short term uh, just to see how I feel and, and whatnot. Um, and we're going to go from there. But uh, yeah, just to answer your question, uh, cut out the carbs, especially alcohol. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe.